guys, it's Serena Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 185 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you attempted it, let's just dive right in. A student takes an examination containing 20, 20 true or false questions. The student knows the answer to any of the questions, which are answered correctly. So basically they're saying, if they know the um, question, given that they know the question, answer the, the question, they answer it correctly. So the pro probability that they answer correctly, given that they know it, is 100%. 100%, or is just equal to one, <laughs> um, and guesses the answer to the rest. So if the person, if the student um, guesses, so does not know. Wait, let's say this is no. Okay, if they do not know and they guess it, their percentage, their probability of getting it correct is if it's a true and false question. That's a uh, half. And what's the probability that they know it? Well, that's equal to n out of 20, the probability that they know the question is n out of 20, then the probability that they don't know the question is equal to 20 minus n over 20. And finally, they give you this thingy right here. They, they tell you the probability, the conditional probability the student knows to answer the question. So knows given that the answer correctly is 0.824. So this conditional probability could be broken down to the probability k given c is equal to the probability of k and c divided by the probability of c. If you remember the base theorem, that's great. If you don't, you can always easily derive it real quick because we know that the probability of c given k is equal to the probability of k and c divided by probability of k. We know the intersection, the probability of k and c is just equal to the probability of k times the probability of c given k. All right, so plugging that in, you get you get probability of C given K times probability of K. And by the law of total probability, we know that this could be broken down into the probability of C given K times probability of K plus the probability of C given not K times the probability of not K. So this is also equal to 0.824. So what is the probability of C given K? So that's exactly just one. And what's the probability of k? That's n, out of t n over 20. In the denominator, you have the same thing, 1 times n over 20, plus the probability of c given not k. So that's 1 half times probability of not k. So that's basically just um, 20 minus n over 20. OK, so I can actually factor out the 1 over 20 from numerator and 1 out of 20 from the denominator. So you get n over n plus 1 half 20 minus n is equal to 0.824. And you know that 1 over 20 divided by 1 over 20 is just 1. And then so bringing this to the other side, you get n is equal to 0.824 times n plus 0.5, because you know half is just 0.5, 20 minus n. I just did that because I don't really like fractions. I don't know about you guys, but so this is equal to 0 0.824 n plus 0 0.824 times 0 0.5 times 20. So that on the inside, this just becomes 0 0.824 n plus half of 20, that's just 10, minus 0.5 n. So this is equal to 0.824 n minus half of n, so that's just, you're left with half of n plus 10 is equal to n. Multiplying 0.824 times 0.5, you get 0.412 n plus 8.24 is equal to n. Collecting n's on both sides, you get n minus 0.412 n is equal to 8.24. This basically is a coefficient of 1, so 1 minus 0.412 is equal to 0.588n is equal to 8.24. So finally, n is equal to 8.24 divided by 0.588, which is approximately equal to 14.013, which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!